Hi YouTube gang, I'm here today to talk about how I store my coffee and I would love to hear as well from you in the comments below on what your method is for storing your coffee. Freshness is a huge thing if you're into coffee, as you all know if you're probably watching this. I actually just went to go pick up some coffee this morning at a roaster. I'm quite lucky I'm in a city that has a few local roasters, so that's always a good thing. I'll sometimes buy coffee from other cities and towns, but to support local and for environmental purposes, I just buy local, but also there's just so many options locally. I don't really feel the need to go that far out and I kind of already have my favorites right now. So I go to this roaster that actually roasts for a lot of other little companies. I have a lot of different options to try out there and not always huge companies. And then I get to speak with the roasters directly, which is really nice. You can actually see a little vlog of me getting coffee right here where I actually go to this roaster and pick out some coffees. Coincidentally today, I had no idea this was happening, but I got there and there were just a lot of dogs everywhere because they had teamed up with this local rescue. You can take photos with your dog with Santa, which was super, super cute. I'd never seen that before. It was pretty funny. My current system is I usually pick up two bags of coffee. When I finish those coffees, then I'll get some new ones. If it's not already two to three weeks post roast, I will often wait for it to get to that peak freshness level for espresso. So this is a delicious Ethiopian wash with peach, iced tea, fruity, floral, and juicy flavors. This one is already ready for putting away and, and to consume. The other one that I picked up was just roasted maybe like less than a week ago, so I'm gonna wait a bit. So what I'll typically do is that one that isn't ready right now, I'm just gonna leave it on my counter. The other one that's fresh, what I'm gonna do is split it up into 20 grams in my single dose. If I had two coffees that were ready at the same time, I may choose to open both at the same time and use my single dose uh, system to split them evenly and identify them or remember which row is which just so I can distinguish them. This is my little single dose of coffee system. I made a little video on this as well, which I will link in the description or I'll have one of everything. And then whatever doesn't fit in here, I will store and lock right away. Whatever doesn't fit my single dose coffee, I will put in a reusable vacuum seal pack, which I've also done a review for this. So it keeps everything fresh, but it's also reusable, so I don't feel so bad wasting all those bags and garbage. Although this does take up more room in the freezer. So I'll always have a little bit extra in the freezer for one, in case I run out. I never want that to happen. <laughs> Second of all, if I really like something, I could put it aside and then I also have a little bit of diversity. So there was one coffee I really, really, my favorite coffee, which was an Ethiopian anaerobic natural. It was such a limited edition, small batch amount, kind of a new process that not a lot of roasters are, are doing so far. And it was the best thing I ever had. I was so careful with that. I packed very little, I, it was only a 200 gram bag whatever I had consumed a little bit and then the rest I packed right away because I knew I'll identify them and put them in my freezer so I know what it is. I have my coffee brew log book to log the different uh, variables so I know the recipe that I want to go with but I don't always find that reliable because it kind of just changes sometimes or the coffee's a little bit older and things just change so I will sometimes write it on the bag as well for quick reference on what grinder size to go with um, and what output. I pretty much always do a 20 gram on my Breville dual boiler. When I'm ready to use it, if I'm in a quick emergency, I will take it from the freezer directly to the grinder. Not sure how great that is for the grinder as it's frozen. It's kind of like a, in case of emergency, break this glass and grab the hatchet. That's my in case of emergency. If I plan a little bit in advance and I know my coffee levels, I'll take it out of the freezer, put it in the fridge for a little bit to thaw, and then it's ready the next day to consume and then fridge to grinder is not as bad. That is my whole system. It's pretty much two bags fresh at a time, but I'll freeze it, single dose it, and split things up like that. So everything's pretty much as fresh as possible within a respectable time frame. I'm not like super crazy about it's been two weeks, it's been sitting on my counter past the two weeks, you know, freshness roast date. It's okay, I'm not gonna be that crazy about things. Um, sometimes I will do that, but what I will do is single dosing and splitting it all up. Sometimes what I'll do also is I won't put things in the resealable seal bags, I'll leave the bag on my counter so there's as little light as possible, although there has been, you know, some oxygen that has gone in there and stuff like that. And then I'll close the bag, seal it, seal it tight, 
take out all the air, seal it, and leave it on the counter until the next time I have to open it. Not exposing the beans to air too much as well. So that's typically what I'll do when it comes to that. So that's it, just a quick little video just to give you some ideas on how to store your beans, if that's something that you've been thinking about. There's no right or wrong method. I mean, there are right or wrong methods, I guess, but it also depends on what you care about in terms of time, value, effort, all of that. That's just my system that might give you an idea on what you'd like to do. Please like, comment, share, let me know what your system is. I'm always looking to refine my techniques. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification to get notified. All of this helps with the algorithm so that other people may discover these videos because it's pretty, pretty hard out there. There's a lot of videos out there, a lot of content. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.